What was life like in the 1930s? Well, today we'll find out what happened one day in Los Angeles. When we read the actual words from the LA Times newspaper. One of the biggest things to happen in the 30s was the revolution of the movies. This is Carol Lombard, one of the major starlets of the time. She was married to another famous star, Clark Gable. Very tragically, Carol Lombard, in 1942, died in a plane crash. She was 33. I see by these pictures that Clark Gable was an avid newspaper reader. Okay, okay, Clark. We'll start our newspaper for today. Let's read a newspaper together. Today's edition of the Los Angeles Times is dated Tuesday morning, March 15, 1932. Fear halts baby hunt. Lindbergh sets death dreaded. Hopewell, New Jersey, March 14th. Fear for the life of the kidnapped Lindbergh baby has prevented New Jersey state troopers from raiding at least three gangster retreats where the tiny captive might be hidden, it was learned today. Fingerprinting. Those who inveigh against fingerprinting might find grounds for a change of views in the difficulties of every traveling couple with a light-haired two-year-old baby in escaping arrest for the Lindbergh kidnapping at the present time. At Crossville, Tennessee, an apparently innocent couple were held for hours by the sheriff because of the superficial resemblance of A. Lindbergh, Jr. If young Lindbergh's fingerprints had been in possession of the police from the start, the mistake in identity would have been discovered at once. Will Rogers remarks, Beverly Hills. It was gratifying to read in the press this morning that Germany went sane in their primary election yesterday. Hindenburg is assured of re-election April 10th. He must be a grand old character the only man that the whole of Europe produced that they followed in war and followed in peace. Hitler had some swell sounding ideas, but this depression has lasted so long that it has given the people a chance in all countries to know that nobody can fix it overnight with an idea. Nobody knows exactly where it came from and nobody knows exactly where or when it's going from here. Hindenburg had no solution and was re-elected so why don't everybody do like him and quit lying about it? Yours, Will Rogers. The billy goat's a handsome gent, but has a most far-reaching scent. The nanny goat is quite a belle. Let's hope she has no sense of smell. Hamburg is more tasty when seasoned before cooking with Golden's mustard. In the queer old days, it was dishonesty instead of halitosis or dandruff that lost social standing. Child Shears own tonsil. Exeter, March 14th. Running while holding a long stick in his mouth in the yard of his home here, Norman Showwater, a three-year-old child, fell and cut off one tonsil as the stick was thrust down his throat. At an Exeter hospital, where he was taken for treatment, Dr. R. C. Hill declared the youngster had sheared off the tonsil with almost the same skillful results as if done by a surgeon's instruments. Dr. Hill removed the other tonsil. 
Burbank March 14th. Legal action may be taken here if children having mumps are not confined to their homes, according to Dr. Ransom of the City Health Office. Turkey and Caviar on Menu of Charity, New York A menu of the choicest steaks, chops, chicken, turkey, and even caviar was laid tonight on the dining tables of 25 families who ordinarily would be glad of a can of beans. Federal Prohibition agents, who Saturday night raided the Petty Reach at 112 East 55th Street, found great stores of perishable foods intended for the tables where folks who can pay $1.50 a drink were wont to dine. Captain Mooney of the 51st Street Police Station called on the neediest families along the eastern fringe of the district. Here's Bottle Baby and How. West Los Angeles police arrested Antonia Loya, 39, of 1630 Cotner Street after assertedly finding four pint bottles in a baby buggy with Loya's three-month-old infant sitting on the blanket concealing the cargo. We are raising the baby on those bottles, Mrs. Loya, the arrested man's wife said. Black Hand Note Jails Truckman Evart B. Parker, 43-year-old Truckman, was arrested yesterday as the writer of a threatening letter to Frank Turney, brother of a judge. Turney reported getting the letter on the 8th. It warned him to leave town and was signed with a black hand, according to the police report. Indecent Show Band Suggested Judge asked police action in sentencing manager. The recommendation was made in connection with the sentence of James Hemingway, asserted manager of a girl show at 510 South Main Street, convicted on indecent show charges. He was fined $200 and six months additional jail sentence, being suspected with the recommendation that he engage in some other business. The judge says, I have found the manager guilty of violating the show's ordinance, and I hope that the police will cooperate with this court to the extent of revoking this place's license to operate.
Huh? Rust of that whippersnapper calling on my daughter in overalls. Shh, shh. You want to make a spectacle of yourself? The boy is wearing one of those smart new beer suits. Well, folks, I bet you're wondering what a beer suit is. Well, it was a short-lived fad where young men would wear painter's overalls when they went to drink beer. Agony column. Feet hurt? Dr. Rhodes, the careful chiropodist, treats both feet $1.50. Shop 17 Main Floor Arcade Building. Personals. Motion Picture Training Studio will interview men, women, and children with acting talent for talking pictures. Through independent picture producers, make talking pictures in our studios and we frequently supply them with talent. We do not guarantee positions to our students. We do, however, assist in placing those who develop talent under our instruction. A voice analysis free. Apply in person to training division operated in the Hollywood Studios, 1845 Glendale Boulevard. Studio open every day and on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. Take Encendel car on 6th Street.